What's up everyone? It's Spade bringing you another update video, and I'm sorry this is a day late. I ran really late at work. I don't get off till midnight, 1 o'clock. And when I got home, the servers were down. Couldn't even download the DLC. Couldn't even do the update. So this is why the video is coming a day late. But finally, the update, the DLC came out. That's a huge deal. I don't have it yet because, again, I couldn't buy it. But the, the update, I finally got it. And it's a huge update. It's this is the one that's been talked about for weeks. It's supposed to put all the guns on one par, like with the bow and the ASM one. They're supposed to be on the same level as those, and it's nowhere near that big. The in in all reality, they only updated four guns. Typical Call of Duty built it up for nothing, but they did do some work to some of the guns. The first one they did work to was the HBR A3. I don't think this one needed that much work in the first place, but what they did to it, they uh, maxed it's they maxed out is. Uh, its max damage range was increased so it does its max damage of 33 or whatever it is is maxed out farther than say the 15 meters it already was which those could be completely wrong completely wrong numbers but they gave it a, a much higher max damage and its uh, three shot to kill range was increased which is extremely good for this gun because its first three shots is a burst so if you get a quick snap onto someone, or you've already aimed down on someone a little bit, got it locked on, those three shots should kill it in a far further distance than it used to. Than it used to. I'm sorry. So that that's a really good combo with this gun now. This gun may be up to par with the AK and the bow now. But the the AR6160, yeah, that's horrible. I hate that gun. The next one is the shotgun, the TAC-19. Uh, this is probably the best shotty choice right now. Like, it's unbelievably good after what they did to it. Uh, its max damage range was increased. Again, same as HBR A3. But its, it's uh, distance for one-shot kills, basically, was increased. And it being a shotgun, you give it more distance to one-shot people, that's that's what it's meant for. That's overpowered as shit. No one, it's a shotgun, it's supposed to do that. But uh, they also gave it a reduced spread when using Gung Ho. So people are going to be running around with gung-ho in this motherfucker all day. Not even having to aim, not ha having to stop run and just one-shotting people from, you know, 10 feet away. The usual Call of Duty crap. Uh, the next one they did was the A4, which is the DLC gun. This one. Again, I couldn't buy it yet. So here it is. But uh, they gave it reduced recoil, which was a good because it recoiled really bad. I didn't like it. Especially when uh, you picked it up and it had like an ACOG on it or something. Or that might be the red dot on it. I hated it. Could not use it. And it lets you fire more shots before overheating. So you have better aim with more shots. You know, you can, you know, less recoil with firing longer. It's a decent gun as far as I know right now. They also up, er, buffed the, probably the worst gun in the game. The EPM3. I hate this gun. I don't know why it's in here. It's, I guess it's a, an idea they wanted to try and it's horrible. But they reduced the recoil, which is whatever. It's a single fire anyway. I don't see why they care. It should get a damage buff, honestly. It says a damage of 10, but there's no way. It's it's horrible. Don't ever use this gun. Um, that's it for the guns. Uh, after that, they did a lot of anti-cheating patches. You know, nothing that hopefully any of you will even notice. I won't notice because I don't cheat. It's whatever. I don't need a boost. I just get kills. Don't care. Um... They did do some stuff with the snipers, like they gave it a new center, I guess with the crosshair. But they gave, uh, they, it used to work with the variable zoom anyway, it would change the center of the sniper, but now they're doing it for a lot of the snipers. I don't know if they're taking the variable zoom out and giving it the horrible center, or they're giving every sniper the variable zoom center. I'm not too sure which one they're doing. Uh, in ranked play, if you play ranked, they are... Updating, well, here I'm searching. They're updating it. No games found. Alright, whatever. Screw you too. But they're updating it to where it shows your uh, your level like it used to in Black Ops 2. Instead of your prestige, it's showing your division. Whether it be silver, master, gold, iron, whatever it is. They're showing that instead of what prestige you are. Which is really good. I don't care what prestige you are when you're in ranked play. I don't care what prestige you are in any game type. Uh, other than that, they adjusted the spawns and captured the flag, momentum, uplink, and they also upped the distance you could pass the drone in uplink, which they they buffed that when the game first came out, you could pass it across the map, and then they nerfed it where you could only pass it like 
20 meters, or, well, it's probably a lot longer than that, but he couldn't pass it anywhere near as far as he used to, and now they're buffing it again, give it, like, I guess an in-between, because it was kind of short, like, it, sometimes it was kind of dumb how he couldn't pass it, but now they're buffing it again, uh, other than that, they are, excuse me, infected, they're, they're randomizing the, uh, survivor's classes, their, uh, loadouts, so that, that's pretty cool. I guess that means you could end up with a Bulldog or even an AK, just completely random, which is a good idea. I like it. And the last thing they did was a score streak spread. Uh, if you look at it, all the score streaks are exactly the same. Like, all the points are the same. All the add-ons are the same points. So I'm assuming what they mean by this, which is, I'm hoping this is what they meant. When I played a game of Dom, I would get score streaked after score streaked after score streaked. It got annoying, like... Still, they're nowhere near as bad, but you'd still get, like, system hacks, four in a row, caught in one right after the other. And it got annoying. And then you get, like, a Warbird, a Paladin, and it's not too hard to get these things, especially in Domination when you get 200 points of flag. Like, I said it before, you get two flag caps and one kill, and that's, like, uh, that that's almost a system hack right there, off the rip. It's really annoying. So I'm hoping what they meant is that they cut the points down and say domination instead of getting 200 you got 100 again like when it game first came out that made it it was a little hard to get kill streaks but it made it worth it, it made it good uh maybe instead of getting 200 for capping the home flag you only got 50 that would make sense i mean you walk 10 feet you don't need 200 points for that come on but that's about it nowhere near the buffs of the guns that we thought we were going to get but still it's a huge patch that came out with the dlc which i can't even play yet you know, whatever. But I should have some DLC gameplay coming out either tomorrow night or the night after. So, look out for those videos. Have fun with this new patch. HBRA3. I can't wait to use it. Have Probably have some gameplay coming out with it too soon. So, look out for that too. Anyway, guys, please like, subscribe, comment.